Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I do uh, want to wish everyone a very merry holiday season and uh, hope that you uh, will enjoy the days with family and friends that uh, are soon to be. Um, today our topic is going to uh, focus around some things I'd like to share with you uh, regarding preparing for potential upgrades in 2014 and the implications of getting ready for version 9.0 of SAP Business One. Um, just some things that are happening, you know, overall that you should be prepared for and recognize and maybe do a little research about on your way to planning your upgrade. Uh, first of all, just some general announcements for you. <clears throat> As you know, it is annual maintenance season. You probably have your invoice. Uh, please get that in and paid on time. If you have any questions, please be in touch with us. And uh, um, if you want to know the details behind it or just any questions whatsoever, please uh, be in touch so that we can get you that. Uh, the SAP mobile application, which has always been available for the iPad, is now available for Android devices as well. It is identical in form and function. Uh, just uh, go to the uh, Android store and you can download it and run it in demo mode until you get it connected to your system, uh, which does, of course, require the uh, Business One integration framework to be installed, configured, and operational uh, in order for that mobile capability to be provided to you. Uh, just a little bit of news. There's a small problem with uh, version 9.0, patch level 08 and earlier. Um, it's not uh, business critical, but what happens is the Business One um, integration framework stops uh, intermittently for some reason and has to be restarted. And in rare situations, it freezes up the entire server and the server has to be restarted. So there is a fix on the way with patch level 9. So if you were in process of uh, thinking about an upgrade and getting close, I just wanted to give you this warning so you could wait another week or two potentially, uh, if possible, for patch level 9 and just uh, take that um, possible problem away. Not, not every customer uh, who has deployed 9.0 has this, but it's sort of uh, here and there and 